Good afternoon, Clockhouse. How are you? I hope you're having a great holiday and enjoying the fantastic weather. It's been a while since I have popped onto your screen, but here I am. As you can see, I'm in school and I'm working with Mrs. Reinecke and Mrs. Overton and Mrs. Jarvis and Miss Ward to plan for the reopening of school in September. There's a lot to plan and there's a lot to think about. We're getting there and there will be much more communication coming your way, but just thought we'll give you a bit of a heads up on some of the things that we've decided. So from September, the children will be in their classrooms, in their normal classrooms, in their 30 bubble, and the year, there will be a year group bubble so that staff can move when needed between year groups, between sorry, between classes. We will keep, be keeping that to a minimum. In terms of lunch times, the children will be in their classes eating and we'll be doing staggered lunch time, so they'll have half an hour to eat and then half an hour to play and that'll be on a, a rotor system. If your child has lunch from the canteen, that's fine, but it will be a cold lunch offer that we've brought to classes. There can't be any hot lunches at the moment as per the guidance that we've been given. The children will be doing PE as much as possible outside. You will be given your child's PE days later on, but we're asking that children come to school in their PE clothes on their PE days so that PE kits can be washed and uniform can be washed and are not left in school and also so that we don't have to worry about changing. As I said, PE days will be communicated with you. The children will be able to bring their lunchbox, water bottle, moisturiser as previously and a small book bag so that they can bring a reading book home. Now reading books will be coming home on Thursdays and being need to be back on Mondays. They will then be kept in school and reissued on a Thursday. If you're worried about reading between Monday and Thursday, we'll be providing lots of useful links and online reading books that the children can use, especially Reading Eggs and Reading Express. They won't have a reading record book. The communication with that will be via Dojo. So if you send a message to say your child's read, they will get their raffle ticket that way. Children love the raffle ticket, so make sure you read. Um, in terms of homework, unless you tell us otherwise that you can't access Google Classroom or online learning, all homework will be done via Google Classroom. Lots of parents have spoken positively about that, so we're acting on that. But we will be asking children and parents if they haven't got access, and we will work out a way to support with homework that way. Also, in terms of moving forward, should, in the unlikely event, somebody be tested positive for coronavirus and the bubble have to close, we will then be having to provide blended learning so that you could, the children can carry on learning at home for the time that the, their bubble is shut, as in their time to isolate for the 14 days. But that's a long way off and we will talk to you more about that in the future. We are, as I say, busy planning um, we have a lot of things still to think about. We're looking currently, as I speak, at staggered start times and staggered end times. There will be staggered times and there will be gates, certain gates for children to come into. What I can tell you, though I can't tell you the exact times, the earliest time will be 8.30 for the children coming to school and the latest pickup will be 3.30. So if you're an 8.30 start, you'll finish around 3.00. And if you're a nine o'clock start, you'll finish around 3.30. So it gives you a bit of an idea about what the day is going to look like. Um, and gates will be specific. Year four, year five, year six parents, we are going to be asking that your, the children come onto site on their own. I know that's hard, especially as they start new classes, but to minimize the risk, we are only gonna be allowing parents from nursery, reception, year one, year two, year three onto site. And I have to say, prior to the holidays, the children who came back really took to that really well and the parents were great, so hopefully that won't be an issue. Other than that, at the moment, there's nothing really else to communicate with you. I'll be back on your screens, I'm sure, and it'll all be in writing. Oh, one more thing is that for those parents who did, children did come back, we will be looking at a different way. Rather than asking you those set of questions every morning that took a really long time, we'll be looking at something different that you sign to say you will let us know if there have been any symptoms. As I say, there's still lots more to plan, but hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea about where we're coming from. I just can't wait to see you all. I know the staff can't wait to see you all in September and get back to some normality. And we will be get, making it as normal as possible because our children need normality. We need normality within the realms of what's possible. Now go and enjoy the sun, enjoy the summer, and I'll be back to see you very soon.
Take care, everyone. We miss you. Be safe. See you soon.